Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and today I want to show you something that will be life-changing, guaranteed, promise you. And what it, what it is, is I did what is called the RICE experiment. Now, the RICE experiment is something Dr. Moto did, who's from Japan, and what he did was he found out that uh, ice crystals, what he did was he took water and he spoke negative words over it, and then he froze it and he looked at it and it created irregular crystals and ugly crystals. Then he took water and he spoke good, loving, kind words over it and it created beautiful crystals. And our body is 90% of water and the Word of God created everything physical is created with words. This whole physical world was created with words by God. And what he did next is he did the rice experiment and anybody can do this and you take rice you cook it and then you put equal amounts of the same rice into three different containers one container you totally ignore the other container you speak positive things over and the third container you speak negative things over over it. and this is what I did I'm going to show you the results in just a minute but first I just want to seal in your heart the awesomeness of this experiment because you're going to go wow and I recommend that you do this experiment yourself okay in uh, Colossians 1 16 it says for for by him all things were made that were created that are in heaven and on earth visible invisible thrones whether thrones or dominions principalities or powers all things were created for him and through him and that's Jesus Christ and Jesus is called the word and it also says in John 1, 1 through 3, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and all things were made through Him, the Word. And without Him, the Word, was nothing made that was made. Hebrews 11, 3 says, By faith we understand that the worlds, the worlds were framed by the Word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made with things that are visible. And that's Hebrews 11, 3. And so... Uh, Deuteronomy, uh, Proverbs 20, 18, I believe it is, that says death and life is in the power of your tongue. And also in James, it talks about the power of your tongue. And then in Proverbs 15, 18, it says your tongue is a tree, a wholesome tree of life. And God satisfies you by the fruit of your mouth. And so I want you to realize that you get saved by saying with your mouth that you believe Jesus was raised from the dead that you want Jesus to be the Lord of your mouth so the Lord of your life so you get saved by speaking words you receive healing by speaking words every every this is a world that is created with words because words are pictures so I'm going to show you this rice experiment and this is what I did okay I took these rice and I spoke over them so today is going to be the last time this is the 28th day I'm going to 28 instead of 30 because I'm just so excited I can't wait Okay, this is the 28th day that I have taken rice. I cooked rice, one bowl of rice I cooked in the fry, in the pan. I took one big tablespoon of, of rice and put it out of the same container, out, out of the same pan in three different containers, and then I sealed them with scotch tape, and I labeled them. Okay, so this is the result. So I'm going to turn around the camera so you can see. This is the rice that I have ignored. Okay, I'm going to open that in a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to show you what I did first. This is the rice that I said hateful words over it. Now, this is what I said. I said, God, okay, God told me to not just speak hateful words over it, but to speak over this rice what pastors speak to their congregation. Pastors that don't know that once you're saved, you're always saved, you're sealed in the Holy Spirit, that your spirit is now perfect, above reproach, and without uh, sin, blameless. And the Bible says that. And so pastors that say this to their congregation, this is what they're creating. I said to this rice, I said, listen here, rice number two. You'll always be number two. God is mad at you. God hates you. You are a sinner. You are a worm in the dirt. You are going to hell. You need to get up to this altar and get saved. God hates you. God gives you sickness and disease to teach you a lesson. And this is what happens. You see that growth right there? see that growth on that rice we're going to open it up and look at it closer that's like a tumor in a person's body by speaking those hateful words over somebody negative hateful words now this is the rice and when I take the cap off you'll see that it's white it's not green at all and this rice I say 
Rice, you are number one. God loves you. You are valuable. Jesus loves you so much that he died for you. He died on the cross for you. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. You are blessed because you belong to me. And I'm a child of God. You'll always be number one. You are valuable. Now, you see how many seconds it took me to talk to this rice, that rice. Uh, just less than a half a minute a day, every day for 28 days. And then this is what happens. This is what happened. This is the one that was ignored. And let me put my camera down here so the camera can watch this. Okay, so this is the one that was ignored for 28 days. I'm going to open this up. It was all three of them were in this box here. I'm going to open this up and show you after being ignored for 28 days what it looks like. Look at that, it's black. Let me turn the camera. That's black. Can you see the black in it? Can you see that black? That is black rice. Okay? Now let me get the other one. Is the one that I said negative words over, like a pastor says. For, uh, a pastor that does not uh, see a good God, but sees a judgmental, critical, hateful God. And I spoke those hateful words over it. And look at this. See that tumor, that little growth over there on the side? See that growth right there? That growth grew over on the side, speaking right there, speaking hateful words. And can you imagine that? That, that could be a tumor in somebody's body. There you go. Have a closer look at that. And now let me get the other one. It was where I confess what uh, God says about him, about me. This was my confession that God loves me. That I'm that this right, just like I would say to me, but to this rice, this rice is valuable. Look at that, perfect. Look at that. It's not green. Doesn't sink. It's white. Let me get out of the light. Maybe this is better. So see that. Isn't it amazing what your words do? So there you have the three rices. This is the rice that I ignored. Black rice, all nasty, nasty rice, okay? This is the rice. See that growth over there? This is the rice that I spoke hateful words to, words that some pastors speak to their congregation. See that nasty mold? To me, I call it a tumor because it has like three little legs there. But that grew. Okay, so there you go. There, there's a good picture of it. Okay, and then this is the rice that I spoke good things on over it. And you can see that it doesn't have any darkness in it. It's all even. It's all white. No ugly growths or anything. So that is the difference. Ignored. Growth right there. Hateful and the rice spoken good too.